pretty cool vista here, huh? <laughs> yeah. That bluff face you see right there in front of you, that's uh, what we call the Indian Head. That's where the ranch actually gets its name from. Uh, kind of use your imagination, but you can see the eye sockets and the nose. And the hey, mouth. smiling. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Indian Head Ranch, we're a 10,000 acre uh, introduced species ranch uh, is, is our main business. Uh, we also run uh, some summertime youth hunter apprentice camps. Um, which basically uh, we, we provide the kids, uh, they come in for a week long, um, stay with us. Uh, we hunt, fish, camp. Uh, we try to teach those kids everything we possibly can about the outdoors and how to be safe hunters. Organized hunter safety classes have been around for over 50 years now. And uh, it's, it's just the difference that is, has made in the hunting world is incredible. Today, hunting is statistically safer than badminton. There are fewer accidents in hunting than there is in badminton, if you can believe it or not. And at the end of the day, I think that says a lot about the fact that we have 70,000 volunteer instructors throughout North America, and every single year, they certify more than 700,000 new students. Hunter's safety courses are now required in all 50 states, and the IHEA is leading the charge to ensure that each and every new hunter receives a proper education and is well versed in hunter safety. As publisher of Hunter's Handbook, we have a, a student magazine that goes to every single student that goes through a hunter safety course in North America. And this magazine is kind of an adjunct training piece that goes into a little bit more than the course. But uh, what also happens is there's an entry form in here uh, where kids can fill out this form and they've got the opportunity to win basically uh, a dream hunt of a lifetime. Those are, uh, that's a Mark workout. Uh, they're actually from Afghanistan. Uh, they have a really neat, heavy spiraled horn. For those lucky winners, this is a great opportunity to apply their hunter's education in a real world experience under the watchful eyes of experienced guides. And for many, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. It's the greatest thing I've ever done. I think uh, beats Ohio by a long shot. I like being out here, seeing all the scenery, and then this morning seeing the Indian caves and then getting to hunt this evening was, it was amazing. You know, everybody thinks that hunting introduced species is easy, and it's it's really and truly it's not. You know, it's a, it's a hunt in itself. You know, you get out there and you get on the ground with these animals, and you know, you're that you're in their environment, and uh, sometimes it almost seems like they're hunting you. You know, you really gotta you really gotta get in there and just the stalk. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, I'll tell you what, let's hunt. Get it back on safety. All right, right shoulder. Here we go. Got him. Little boy. Good shot, Bubba. Nice. Good shot, man. Great shot. Yeah, I mean, I've never hunted a creature like this before, and out here being able to hunt something like this, it's amazing. 
I love it. You know, we're actually the lucky ones here. You know, there's nothing better than getting to take these kids out and seeing them smile and have a good time and do something that, you know, that they may never get a ch chance to do again. Good job. Thanks. Congratulations to Dominic Staney for harvesting his first Corsican ram. Stay with us. We've got more hunting from the Indian Head Ranch coming up next. For information on Indian Head Ranch, give them a call or look them up online at IndianHeadRanch.com. Cabela's, celebrating 50 years as the world's foremost outfitter, is a proud sponsor of the IHEA Heritage Hunt. If you're heading outdoors this season, stop by Cabela's for everything you'll need to ensure a great day in the field or on the water. Look them up online at Cabela's.com. We'll be right back with more from Americana Outdoors. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors from Indian Head Ranch in deep west Texas. Indian Head Ranch is a sprawling 10,000 acre spread loaded with introduced species from around the world. Every year, they play host to the IHEA Heritage Hunt, offering hunters, education graduates, and instructors a chance for a dream hunt. The event kicks off every year with a special dinner and a salute to those that made this possible. None of this is possible without having sponsors, and of course we, we already know that Indian Head Ranch is, is the main sponsor to have us here and have that beautiful meal and the hunting that we're going to do. But we also have several other folks that have, have given some stuff, and I'm going to go through it a little bit. Each of you should have this. Uh, we're really excited about the things we have this year. Buck Knives uh, has given us each a, a Buck Omni knife. This is not just for the winners, but it's for This the is like too. Christmas in September for the contest winners. The sponsors graciously provided plenty of their latest and greatest gear to ensure the students are well outfitted for their upcoming hunt. Cabela's was kind enough to do this, and uh, we have all our sponsors on the back. And these are the people that make this thing possible because, as you can imagine, getting you all here, the food, the guides, the taxidermy, uh, all of it is very important. Lots of people, lots of sponsors that come in and help us make this happen. Uh, we've had some great people with us for years. Uh, Houston Safari Club, uh, Federal Ammunition, uh, Cabela's is a great sponsor. And locally, we've had some great uh, opportunities this year where uh, McDonald's came on board, uh, the Chamber of Commerce came on board, the city of Del Rio, um, because they get it. They also understand that this area here is great hunting ground and, and they want to promote what it's all about. What's it all about is keeping the hunting tradition alive and making darn sure that when new hunters enter the field, they do so adequately prepared. So after a quick refresher course on firearm safety, the students load up and head into the field. This is an awesome experience for me to be able to, to, to host these kids here, these kids and these instructors here at the ranch for this, for this hunt. Um, you can see it on their faces that, 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 you know, it's something new and exciting to them and something they may never have an experience, you know, the chance in their life to do again. So uh, it, it means a lot to me. Now I'm just really thankful for being able to come down here and just just see like I've never seen this land in my life I mean it's just like a whole new experience for me where I come from it's like you know just like woods you know you don't really see much open land like this it's really cool I really didn't know what to expect honestly like I said I've never been out of Oregon I've never killed an animal I've never rifle hunted this is all completely new to me like everything from the airplane to the state I'm in to the gun every all of this is new to me so I didn't really know what to expect so I definitely expected more trees in Texas, though. I had a young lady named Shelby from Oregon that was uh, that was hunting with us, and she was gung ho, ready to go. Um, and believe it or not, right off the bat, uh, we left the lodge and, and stumbled onto a large herd of cim scimitar horned oryx. Maybe a bunch of them. Need to at least get the wind right. We found one that we were after in that herd, and. We uh, eased out of the vehicle and, and got downwind of them, or upwind of them, I guess you'd say, and made a, made a great stalk on them. But Shelby, she was, she was smiling the whole time. It was awesome.
everything is so exciting. Every part of it, just being here and having someone experienced enough to like explain everything to me and like be able to walk me through everything. I liked that. I took hunter safety to bow hunt, actually. I was actually so scared of guns before hunter safety and my instructor was the best instructor I could have possibly had and he got me to shoot for my first time and he got me to learn that like you can be safe with guns I don't have to be scared I just have to be cautious which was a big difference in my life because before hunter safety you would have not have caught me dead using that gun it wouldn't have happened Good shot, good shot, Lou. Go ahead, let's read it. Thank you. You hit it good. You hit it good. Take a deep breath. It's fine. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. There you go. I think I think we did good. It it kind of ran off to the bottom. We're just gonna let it let it go for now. She made a perfect shot. First shot, buckled it up, and and you know the rest is history. Um, but the smile on that girl's face and, and the, the dance she was doing all over around that orcs was just phenomenal. That's, that's what makes it all worthwhile. That's, that's, that's why I do what I do. Well done, girl. You survived. Oh my gosh. That's a pretty wild looking critter. That is the most amazing thing I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. There you go. Oh my God. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Wow. I think kids come away from a hunt like this with a greater appreciation of the whole hunting world. They're, they're very, very interested and they're just like little sponges. So to educate them, to have them excited about what it is that we all do and send them home with knowledge is just a fantastic experience. For more information on the IHEA or to locate a hunter's education course near you, please visit their website at IHEA.com. And a big thanks to our hosts at Indian Head Ranch. You can find them online at IndianHeadRanch.com.